Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. My name is Sorin Pradescu, Marketing Manager at Connect, and in this video we will cover the different options to add volumetric lighting effect to your scene with volumetric lights and what will be the correct use of each one. Volumetric lights is the most complete light scattering solution for Unity, which offers a comprehensive list of options including customizable light geometry, penumbra, falloff, shadows, cookies and more. To start with, import the volumetric lights asset inside the project. After that, there are several ways to add a volumetric light to your scene. You can select an already created light from the scene and in the inspector panel, add the volumetric light script. Or head over to the menu, select game object, lights and the type of volumetric light you would want to use. All the settings regarding this asset's behavior and complete setup are already covered in a previous tutorial dedicated to this section. You can access the video below in the description. However, we will cover some quality options at the end of this video along with some tips. Let's see the ideal case to use the different volumetric type of lights. There are a total of four options. Volumetric point light, volumetric spotlights, volumetric rectangle area and volumetric disk area light. In all cases, volumetric lights works as an extension to existing Unity lights. It just extends them with visual enhancements. The volumetric point light is perfect for games objects that will spread the light at a certain point of the scene, such as candles, lamps or fire cams, and many other uses depending on the scene you are creating. The volumetric spotlight will be an ideal match for objects whose lights are projected at some part of the scene. Directional lamps in general are the kind of objects we will use this option for. And in some cases, the highlight of certain objects to give the impression of an important item to be discovered. We usually use the volumetric rectangle area to cover a more extensive area than the spotlight option will be able to cover. An example of that will be windows or open parts of a specific building in the game. The volumetric disk area light is often used to enlighten a particular object like treasures, special objects and more. But it can be used in many other ways. Of course, the final use is up to you depending on the scene setup. Here are some tips that will make your volumetric light effect look smoother and therefore more realistic. We suggest you play with options such as remarch quality, jitter and dithering. Also, don't make excessive use of density and brightness. In addition, using quadratic mode for the attenuation of scattering effect will give you the best visual performance result. Remember to activate shadow occlusion, especially when using volumetric rectangle area light for windows. Check the included documentation for additional explanations, performance tips and other technical details. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding our explanation, feel free to contact us at connect.com. And remember to follow our social media to stay tuned with our new updates.